Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn about some spread of communicable diseases. In previous videos, already we have learned about the communicable diseases. So, what what is mean by communicable diseases? So some diseases can spread from one person to another person. So, such type of diseases are called communicable diseases. But how these diseases can spread from one person to another person? So there are different types of mediators. Okay. So through that mediator, this infected diseases pass from one person to another person. So what are the what are these? So through direct contact. So some communicable diseases are there. They can pass from one person to another person through direct contact means if you touch if you use the things of that person so see here some germs spread through the direct contact and they cause diseases like cold chicken pox measles whooping cough and this can spread through the clothing or other articles used by a sick person if you use the articles of sick person. Sick person means what? Sick person means infected person. Okay? Who is infected by this disease. So if you use the things which already used by a sick person like clothing or uh, handkerchief or other material so that disease can cause to healthy person also. So this way, the disease, some diseases are there, they transfer from infected person to healthy person by direct contact if you use the articles of infected person. Okay students? Next thing that is the through food and water. There are some diseases, okay, they transfer with the help of food. So how, so how flies? cockroach carry the germs. So these house flies and cockroach, these are the mediator. They carry the germs and contaminate the food and water. Contaminate means they mix. Okay, they mix in the water and food these germs. Some diseases that are caused by eating infected food. So what type of diseases are there which are caused by eating infected food means contaminated food okay so the diseases are like typhoid you know typhoid typhoid cholera diarrhea jaundice okay these are the diseases caused mostly by due to the infection or due to the contamination of water and food okay students now Microbes from a person who does not wash hands. Microbes from a person who does not wash hands properly. Okay. With soap after passing stool. Okay. Can get into food and water touched by him. It is very important to wash hands properly after passing stool of the toilet is a problem. So you can wash your hands properly. If you don't wash your hand properly, so what happens? That germs which are present on your hands, they mix or contaminate with food and water and sometimes that microorganism enter to the food and water in your body and you may suffer from the diseases. Okay. Sometimes there is a leakage in the water pipes. Microbes can get into the water through this leakage and it is very important to drink purified water. Sometimes what happens due to the leakage of pipeline. Okay. Or sometimes the underground pipelines. Sometimes leakage or sometimes you can see that they break down. Okay. And due to that leakage, the microorganisms entered in that water and they causes the 
this is this or this way this spreads the disease so we should drink the purified okay purified water means clean water free from the micro organisms next we will see that through the year some micro organisms some micro organisms pass through year also how this possible so this is possible yes because there are some micro organisms they transfer along with the year from one place to another place as the infected person sneezes okay how now we see when a person who has infection sneezes or coughs without covering his nose or mouth the germ spread around and the other person gets infected so influenza whooping cough and some diseases cause in this way suppose an infected person sneezes okay or cough so thousands of micro organisms come outside along with the droplets and these micro organisms spread and who is the healthy person around that person they attack on that healthy person and that healthy person also get the infection so which type of disease is so influenza is there common cold is there so whooping cough is there so this type of disease can be spread through the air also okay next through animals and insect there are some diseases they are transferred through the animals and insects so what type of diseases are there so you see now mosquito flies bed bugs these are the insects carry the germs okay so diseases like malaria dengue chikungunya this spray who these insects like mosquitoes flies and bed bugs they spray the diseases like malaria dengue and chikungunya if a female anopheles mosquito bites a person suffering from malaria the germs are sucked by the female mosquito and come into its mouth parts now if it bites a healthy person the germs get transferred into the blood of healthy person and making him fall sick now see here how the germs are transferred suppose a person who is infected by malaria or who is suffering from malaria and if the female anopheles mosquito bites to him so at the same time that female anopheles mosquito suck the blood of that infected person so at the same time along with the blood germs are entered in the mouth of the female anopheles and if the same female anopheles mosquito bites to the healthy person so that germs are transferred to the healthy person's body through the blood and that healthy person also suffer from the malaria so this way the female anopheles mosquito carry the germs from infected person to the healthy person and that healthy person also can be a healthy person become sick okay flies sit on stools and dirty places you know whatever the uh, Facial matters are there, dirty stools are there. The flies sit on them, and sometimes they enter in our house and they sit on our food item. So this way they carry the germs from outside to inside our food. Okay, inside in our room and they sit on our food items, and that food item get contaminated with the germs. And if you eat that food items, so you may suffer from the disease. next one to the infected equipments equipment means things okay if you use the things when blood when blood or any other liquid from an infected person enter the body of another person some communicable diseases are caused if you if, if you use the things which already used by infected person like syringes okay these things so sometime chance so that uh, in when blood or any other liquid 
fluid from the infected person enters the body of another person so some communicable diseases are caused so if you use the things which already used by the infected person for example syringe so that infection get to the normal person also so sir do you know the example of that disease aids aids is the one of the disease and what is the full form of aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome so this disease is caused okay so these are the communicable diseases i hope you understood today communicable spread of communicable diseases